the question that we have been asked is, uh, you know, how to uh, how to generate fee book within EULA. Um, now, I have the two uh, guidelines, you know, the, the paralegal bookkeeping guidelines and the lawyer uh, bookkeeping guidelines downloaded here. And these are the samples of how they're saying you should maintain a fee book. Like, you know, it has dates, uh, you know, invoice and description of the client, the fee build, uh, the, the disbursement build, uh, you know, and the taxes and the total. So now let's go ahead and find out how we actually will do this in EULA. Now to do the fee book in EULA, you'd go into the accounts panel, you would click on document generation, and you will click on fee book. Uh, and you know, you can say whether you want it in PDF or uh, Excel, uh, you have a choice. So let's first do it in PDF and then we'll do it in Excel. And I want uh, the fee book for this entire quarter. So I'll just click on the quarterly and say, uh, click download. So you see now that uh, EULA has downloaded the fee book. It gives you very similar format, like, you know, date, client information, and then the full description of the invoice, you know, that it was a legal fee, what's the invoice number, and it, it, it even gives you the, uh, the manner associated with that. Uh, that's the total uh, invoice plus the tax, and then the total. So in complete compliance with uh, how, um, you know, the law society wants you to do, the EULA fee book looks pretty much, uh, you know, the same. So, uh, so to summarize, you would click on uh, accounts, click on uh, document generation, click on fee book. You have the choice to pick a date range, monthly, quarterly, and you would choose whether you want it in PDF or Excel, and you would actually click on the download button.